In this video, we'll be looking at the Point Cloud Converter. Point Cloud Converter is included with your Cohera 3D piping software. Now, the main purpose of the Point Cloud Converter is to filter your scan data or to convert multiple laser scans into other file types, such as Z57, PTI, PTN, and PTX. So first, I'm going to show how to convert your laser scans and then we'll take a look at the filters and the effects filtering has on your laser scans. So we'll begin by opening Point Cloud Converter and then click the Add Scans button at the top left. Select our scans and click Open and the scans will be added to Point Cloud Converter. Now from here we can choose what type of scans we would like to convert these to. PTIs load the fastest in Cohera 3D piping, but we also have the E57 standard file, PTX, and PTN. You'll want to choose an output path. This is where your new scans will be created. And then to the scan file name, we can add a prefix or a suffix. So for example, since we're going to filter these scans, we might add the word filter and then we'll tab out and we can see here the word filter has been added to our scan name or we can also add a suffix so I'll just put underscore filter and then either click or tab outside of that field and the word filter has been added to the end of the scan name now let's take a look at the available filters to understand these settings, please refer to the help section. For now, I'm going to leave these at their default settings as this generally works well for the majority of scans we filter. So to filter the scans, we'll want to check the filter enabled checkbox and then click the convert button. The other filter type is the use distance. So let's say I set this to 100 meters and I double click this use distance checkbox here. Now any data captured at a distance greater than this value will be removed from the scan data. I'll show an example of this in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is just clear the scans at this point. In addition to adding individual scans, we can also add Faro workspace files. or Cohera 3D project files. And when you add these, all the scans inside that project or the Faro workspace will be added to the Point Cloud Converter. Any transformations and alignment changes made to the scans or the scan folders will be applied to the newly created scan files. So let's open up Cohera 3D piping and take a look at some scans I've already filtered. And we'll see the effects that the filtering has on these scans. We'll compare them to the original. So I'm going to click the scans folder, add scans. Now here I have three scans. The first is the original. The next is a scan that uses only the distance filter. So we'll take a look at that one. And then this one here, that reads filtered, used this filter here. So let's select those scans and we'll add them to our project. So let's open this up a little bit bigger. And we'll select these scans and drag and drop them to our scene window. I'm going to take the display subsample and increase that to two. Then we'll move over to the scene explorer window. Let's open this up and let's change the colors. So the original scan without any filtering, we'll make that one green. The one with the distance filter, let's make that red. And then the filtered will be yellow.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn off the filtered and the distance filter. We'll hide those. And now we're looking at just the original. So remember the distance filter is this one here. So any data that is further than 100 meters out will be removed from the scan. So if you take a look here, we have some data off in the distance. Okay, what happened was we went in here, scanned this room, and the scanner picked up some areas through the windows and doors off in the distance. And we don't necessarily need that. We're just concerned with the area we scanned right here. Pay attention to the stuff off in the distance here, and let's turn off the original and look at the one with the distance filter. Okay, so here's the original again, and then with just the distance filter. So everything outside that 100 meters has been removed. So let's go back to the original, and now let's look at the filtered scan, and that would be using this setting here. Actually, let's increase this to one. Let's turn this off. Here we're just looking at the original and we see this doorway here, this opening. And the scanner, when it hits these edges, can create these extra points that may or may not serve any value or purpose for us. So we may look at wanting to remove that data. And that's what this filter tool can do. So let's take a look at the one that's been filtered. Let's turn off the original, and you can see those data points have been removed. Look at this fire extinguisher here. Here's the original. Again, the scanner hits the edge and creates these points that don't actually represent any surface. So by using the filter, those points there can be removed. Now let's turn on just the original. The filtering that's done here in the point cloud converter can also be done in Cohera 3D piping. It's just done on an individual scan by scan basis where the point cloud converter allows us to filter multiple scans at once. So here we are looking at the original. And if you want to take a look at how the filtering is going to impact the scan before you filter it, you can do that here in Cohera 3D piping. So we have just the original scan in our scene window. Going to select a point, right click, and we'll choose filter point cloud. We'll accept the defaults. And then now what we see is the original scan over the one that's going to be filtered. So everything that's going to be filtered out is in red and all the data points that will be kept are in green. Again, we're not actually representing any surface data here. This is the scanner hitting this edge and creating additional points. The final thing I would like to do here is show the load times for different scan files. I mentioned earlier that some scan types load faster than others. And for Cohera 3D piping, we recommend using the point cloud converter to convert over your FLS and your E57 files to PTI for that reason. So I have two sessions of Cohera 3D piping open. Let's select the scans folder. And in this session, let's load an FLS, okay, a Faro file. And actually, let's uncheck load and view. We'll leave all points, and this will add the scan to our project. In this session here, we'll click the scans folder, and this time we'll choose the PTI. So these two scans are identical, other than one is a Faro FLS, and the other has been converted to PTI. 
So again, we'll leave all points, uncheck load and uncheck view. I'm going to take the FLS, the Ferro file, and we'll drag and drop that to the scene window and take a look at the progress bar. And this is the PTI. Okay, the PTI is finished. And the FLS, we're still waiting on that to load. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.